Hey guys, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to talk about how I've been keeping my makeup on. This, this is how I've been wearing my makeup basically. All right, so that is what I'm gonna share. I'm gonna do, we're gonna just sit down, chitty chat. You're gonna see me apply my makeup as I'm applying it. I'm gonna explain why I'm doing what I'm doing, why it's working for me, and kind of figure out what you need to do with your your makeup too. If you're just finding things that are staying out or whatever, I'm gonna share some tips with you, all right? So I don't go out a lot right now, but I do, you know, when I do go out, I wasn't wearing makeup for a while, but then I'm like, I just feel like I never wear makeup and I, I wanna wear makeup, but I always wanna just do my eyes. So this is what's been working for me. For reference, I have oily dry combination skin. This is something that I started using and I'm really enjoying using this. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. So what I like about this I don't use this every day. The only time I use this is when I'm wearing my mask. I need to have something that's going to be a little bit stickier and to grip onto my foundation and I feel like this is it for me. It does say it creates a luminous look but I never feel like it looks greasy or anything like that because I do have oily skin. But I also use, you're gonna see the foundation I'm gonna use as my Sisley Photo Tiant. And this is the foundation I want to wear. This is oil free. When you're wearing a mask, you need to, or even when you're not wearing a mask, if you're just finding that your foundation isn't staying on your face, you just feel like it slides around, then you want to look for something like this that's going to help stick, be a little bit tacky on your face so your foundation will stick better. I am not like a big person for primers. I've shared that in videos. I don't believe in them. I, I don't think that, um, I just think most of them don't work. I think most of them are moisturizers, but something like this that has like a little bit of tackiness to it is gonna help to grip your foundation onto your face. When I first started using primers, it was mostly just moisturizers. And that's what I normally use. But for me, because I have oily, dry, combo skin, I live in Florida where it's humid. So when I'm wearing a mask, I just feel like I need to have something sticky underneath and this, is, this works really good for me. So I'm just gonna use a little bit, I'm just gonna use a pump and I'm going to apply it to my face. Now I've already done all my skincare and I have um, sunscreen on my face. That's always a part of my morning skincare routine. Now, when you're looking at your foundations that you have, like I wouldn't use my, and I love this one, my Anastasia, it's just not gonna stay on my mask. I know something like this will, like I said, it's oil-free, it's matte, and although I don't like a matte look, this is never, I'm still gonna have a little bit of oil with this, but it does a really good job controlling it. Just gotta shake it up really good. Look at your makeup, look at your foundations, and see, look for one that you know isn't going to be too dewy or luminous or anything, because if you're wearing a mask, it's gonna come off. Or if you're gonna, if you're gonna be out somewhere where it's gonna be hot and humid, which I know you're, you're not, but I am here in Florida. It's like 85 degrees here today. <laughs> yeah, so I have to think about that most of the year. We're, we don't get our like winter weather until like, January, February, when it can sometimes get in the 50s or 60s. So, so I'm going to take it on my beauty blender because that's how I do it. And I'm just going to dab it on. And then I start working it in. And I'm going to get it on my nose too. When I wear this primer, I feel like it stays even on my nose better. And I'm even, which I normal, no, normally do, but I'm even getting a little bit of the foundation under my eyes. I'm still going to put concealer on because foundation isn't enough. So I'm just tapping it on and then I'm going to push it in. And the reason I'm pushing it in is because I want to put it, I want to make sure that I'm really, I really want it to stick on my skin. I want it to melt into my skin and get into any pores that I have. I want it to really, really get in there. Good. I don't want it to sit and lay on top. You know what I mean? 
I don't like to wear a lot of foundation anyways. I mean, I just don't. I like to go on the lighter side. Once my makeup is on, it's on. <laughs> I don't, I don't mess with my makeup once it's on. The only thing I do is my lipstick. That's it. I don't wear this foundation all the time. I love it, but it's really expensive. So I really like to, I like to keep it for the times that I'm going to wear it, which I'm not going to be. I'm just shooting this video today, but I just wanted to share that with you. But I usually don't, I don't wear it all the time. I kind of keep it for when I know I need it to stay on all day. I don't want it to go anywhere. I know if I put a mask on, I'm not going to take it off and I'm going to see foundation because I don't with it. Now I'm going to take a little bit of setting powder. I have to do this because I have oily dry combination skin. So I know that if I don't set this, it's, I'm going to get oily. So I'm just taking some on my refer brush. It's my number 22. And I'm going to tap my forehead, tap my nose, and get right here too. Now normally I like to add a little bit more of a dewier look to my face because I really love that look. But because if I'm, you know, when I'm wearing a mask, I don't want to, I don't want to have that because anything dewy isn't going to stay on under a mask. I don't use a ton of powder, but I, I make sure that I set my whole face. And I like to tap it on there first and not just brush it all over because my foundation may be a little bit wet. I don't want it to move around, so I just kind of do that first and make sure I get it, and then I go ahead and blend it in. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. Now, I could do a couple different things. I'm going to show you a couple options that I have in front of me. I have some other makeup in my makeup room, but um, I'm not going to go over there. Just going to give you some ideas. But I would not use a cream. I wouldn't use creams or liquids when you're going to have a mask on because it's just not going to stay on. So what you could do is you could use a, I like to, I still like to use a little bit of a bronzer. So you can use a bronzer and not even use a blush. You can just use a bronzer and just warm up your face a little bit. You can use a bronzer. This is the one from Tom Ford. You can use a bronzer and a blush. This is the blush from Persana. This is the caramel blush. So you can do that, do those. I would not use a liquid highlighter either. If you really want to, you could probably put it up here, but I don't, I don't know. Like my, my masks go up pretty high and I just feel like it's just gonna come off. So I don't know that it's worth putting a highlighter on, to be honest with you. And you're probably like, why are you gonna put all that on? Because when I'm wearing a mask, when I come home even, like I, you know what I mean? I don't want to look all crazy. And I still like to have my makeup on underneath, um, underneath it. So, or some people have jobs too that they're working and they go out to their car and they take their mat, whatever, okay? So now I'm going to go in, what I like to use is this. I think there's two colors in this. I, I believe this is the Ritual. I think that's the one that I have, Ritual, right? Yes. So what this is, this is a bronzer and a blush together. Love it. I use this all the time lately. I still love my Daniel Sandler blushes. They're the best. I love my Daniel Sandler, Sandler blushes, but I'm not, when I'm wearing a mask, I'm not wearing liquids. So I like to go in with this because it just makes it super easy. So I just go in with this. This is, oh, I love this brush. This is my Refer 25. Brushes were sent to me from Refer. You guys know I always keep it real. This is part of their holiday collection. So I like to use this one for my bronzer blush, especially something like this. So. Oh my gosh, this brush is so super soft. Love it. See that? So it just kind of warmed up my face. Do the same here. There is somebody that I watch on TikTok now. I can't think of her name. Off the top of my head now, I can't think of her name, but I really like her. She's a mature woman. And um, I love her because I love how she, we're on the same page. <laughs> she doesn't believe in contouring or anything like that. She's always like, use bronze. It's so much, I'm like, yes, girl, yes. I, I wanna go out a little bit more than I normally do too, by the way, because some of this is gonna come off on my mask. 
So you don't want to be too light-handed. I don't want to be crazy looking, but um, I don't want to, you know, I want to make sure that I'm getting enough on. You know what I didn't do? I didn't even do my, I didn't do my concealer, which I usually do before I do all this other stuff, just so you know, I usually do do that, but I didn't today because <laughs> I'm talking. <laughs> but we're going to do this anyway still. I'm just going to take my, this is my favorite. There we go. It's coming out. Squeeze very little. This is my Sicily. Mm, I love this one. This is my Sicily concealer. I love it. And today I'm using my the tip of my beauty blender and I'm going to blend this. Yes, yeah, so I usually do this before. I, I fudged it up today. So yeah, I surely did. Oh my gosh, I love this concealer. I know some of you guys are like sticker shocked. I was too. Um, but I had, I had heard so many good reviews on this. I had some of you guys tell me how amazing it is and I was like okay I'm gonna try it and I did and I was like oh you're right girls you're right ladies you got it this stuff is amazing I use I know it looks like I'm like barely barely using any you don't have to use a lot this is gonna last you a long time I feel like it brightens up my under eyes all right so this is my final look I'm sharing this eye look again in another, um, in a different video. You'll see this eye tutorial. I'm using cream shadows. So I hope that you will make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on that. And let me know if there's anything that I didn't answer for you in this video. If there's anything that I didn't address in this video, let me know in the comments. The last thing I want to do is this. It's the last thing I'm going to do. I'm going to spray the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Usually I never use setting sprays. But this has definitely helped keep my makeup on longer when I'm wearing a mask. So the one last uh, and one more thing I didn't mention because you're probably looking at my lips and going, girl, you don't wear those glossy lips under a mask. And you know what? You're right. I don't. So what I will wear is I don't have it in front of me. I don't think that I do, but I do wear that Chanel. It doesn't totally not transfer, but it's the one that's the matte lipstick and then you put and you let that dry and then you can put that gloss on it's not supposed to go anywhere it's not 100 percent, but i will use that or i will wear a matte lipstick i have been enjoying this one this is from wonder 2 and it's the must have matte in the color needed nude so i will wear something like this i just wanted to wear this bright color today with my eye look and everything but this is really nice a matte nude or something like that's nice i i just wouldn't recommend wearing a red or something because once you put that mask on even if it's matte i think it's going to move around a little bit and then you're going to look like you have red around your face where something like this if it's a nude or a really light color if it does get a little bit transferred on your mask and it gets it's not going to look crazy you know what i mean it's not going to look like you i don't know <laughs> you know what i'm trying to say if you enjoyed this video, really hope that you did. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you follow me on all the socials, and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> my hair is crazy curled. Do you want to see the back of my hair? Because I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna show you my hair, bro. Look at, look at, look at my hair. Look at this. Look at this crazy. That's my hair. <laughs> that is my crazy hair. I'm going to get my hair done on friday so i'm gonna get a little bit of a trim but oh my gosh i go i wash my hair at nighttime before i go to bed i know this is probably gonna gross to some of you guys but i don't really care i get bitten with my hair wet and when i wake up it's just like crazy curly i don't curl my hair the only thing i did is i just put a couple little curls in the front that's all i did i didn't do anything with my hair my hair is crazy curly if I want to straighten my hair, I have to do it at night before I go to bed. And some nights I just like, just don't feel like doing it. I have one more tip to share you with, share you. I have one more to share you. Okay. Okay. I actually need a drink. Let's try that again. What was I doing in this? Okay. <laughs>